AITA for asking for space from my wife? I am not OOP. OOP is you, any comfortable 3624. Originally posted to R A I T A H. AITA for asking for space from my wife? Trigger warnings. Emotional manipulation and abuse. Accusation of infidelity. Less than. And NBSP. Original post November 27, 2023. Hey Reddit fam. Need your thoughts on a situation that went down in my life. So, I've been married to my wife for a few years now. And don't get me wrong. I love her to bits. But lately, things have been a bit intense. Now, I'm wondering if I'm the asshole for telling her I need a break. So here's the deal. We've been spending a lot of time together. Like, all the time. Between work, family events, and just daily life. It feels like we're stuck to each other like glue. And I'm the kind of guy who needs a bit of breathing space. You know? Like, I need some alone time to recharge my batteries and do my own thing. Last week, after a particularly stressful day at work, I came home, and the first thing she did was ask about my day. Now, usually, I'd be cool with that. But that day I just needed a moment to decompress. I tried to explain that I needed some time alone. Just to chill and unwind. Well, let's just say she didn't take it too well. She got all upset, accused me of not wanting to spend time with her, and started questioning our entire relationship. I mean, whoa, hold on a sec. I just wanted a breather. Not a one-way ticket to the doghouse. So, the next day, we had a talk, I laid it out there, told her that I love her but need some space to maintain my sanity. I emphasized that it's not about her, it's just how I am. And you know what she said? If you need space, maybe we shouldn't be together. Now, I'm sitting here, wondering if I'm the asshole for being honest about needing some me time. I get relationships are about compromise. But is it wrong to ask for a bit of personal space without being branded as the bad guy? I've been mulling it over. And part of me feels guilty. Maybe I should have sugar-coated it or found a gentler way to say it. But then again, should I really feel bad for being honest about my needs? Anyway, Reddit, AITA? AITAH has no consensus bot. But based on the comments, Oop was NTA. Relevant comments. Next Republic 3039. NTA have either of you done research into introverts, extroverts? It's a classic sign of the introvert to need alone time even from loved ones in order to decompress, recharge. Without that, they can become exhausted and depressed. But the opposite is true for extroverts. It might help to approach things from that angle. Figuring out, being respectful of what you and your partner each need. That's part of a healthy relationship after all. Oop, I am not a complete introvert but I certainly prefer some alone time rather than a gathering. It doesn't freak me out or anything but I certainly prefer it less to be in a crowd. Well wife is pure extrovert energy. I guess we do need to clear it out. SFC Hayes 1973, NTA. What does your wife do on the daily? Oop, she is work from home. I contribute 75% of the finances and help in repairs around the house. She however does contribute to the house Emmy and does most of the house chores. I try to help out whenever I can but she is the lady of the house. Solo YOLO 27, NTA. After a long day nobody wants to be interrogated and relive everything. Her intentions were good but with a few small changes she can give you the space you need. Oop, I would like to believe that what she said was only in the heat of the moment. I wonder if I could have responded better to her greeting but her reaction actually shocked me. Since she is so sweet and cute all the time. And NBSP. Update December 19th. 2023. Hey Reddit, it's me again. So, remember that post about me asking for a break from my wife? 
Well, things took a turn, and I need your advice on this mess. After our heart to heart, I thought we had an understanding. But, oh boy, I underestimated the fallout. The next few days were icy. Lisa, my wife, was distant, and our usual banter turned into awkward silence. I figured it would take some time for things to settle, but it got worse. We tried to make plans for a movie night or a casual dinner, but Lisa wasn't having it. She seemed hurt and kept bringing up my request for space, making me feel like the bad guy. It's like every attempt at connection was met with a reminder of my so-called need for a break. Last night, she dropped a bombshell. She told me that my request made her question our entire relationship. She expressed doubts about whether we were meant to be together if I couldn't handle being around her. Ouch. She asked me if there was some other girl who I liked. She didn't believe me even after I denied it multiple times. She claimed I was probably gonna leave her for some other girl. So as you can expect my patience eventually ran out. I lost my mind and said something stupid. Well if you don't stop being so damn insecure then I probably will. Oops wrong words to say in this situation. I immediately realized what I just said and shut up but she stood still dumbfounded before leaving. Without a word. I have not heard from her since but apparently she went to her mom's house. Now. I'm stuck in this awkward limbo. Wondering if I opened Pandora's box by being honest about needing some time to myself. It feels like my attempt to preserve my sanity might have cost me the closeness we once had. I didn't expect things to spiral like this. And I'm genuinely torn about whether I should have just kept my need for a break to myself, an NBSP. Hash this is a repost sub, I am not oop. Healthy relationships don't devolve this quickly. Oop and his wife need therapy because it sounds like their relationship was just built of them. Ignoring issues and not dealing with them. How old are these people? Next update. My wife thought I cheated so she cheated after we fought. It kind of seems like she's just looking a way out of the relationship but doesn't want to be the one to do it, either that or she's got some serious abandonment issues or something. The intensity of the wife's reaction makes me think this is less about that specific conversation, but more the culmination of something that's been brewing for a while. At least on the wife's side. She's an extrovert who works from home. Maybe she's not getting enough social stimulation and is relying overly on Oop to satisfy her social needs. If he's an introvert, I can totally see how draining this could become on a regular basis. Without any breaks. It could also be a love language thing. She needs quality time with him, but isn't able to verbalize why it's important to her or how much she values it. Again, good communication, mutual compassion and compromise could have saved the day. I'm still confused why he called her concerns a bombshell when she'd said the exact same thing in his first post, not saying whether his request was right or wrong, but I don't get why he's surprised when she keeps telling him what her issue is. My partner, the love of my life, feeds off my energy. I need time to myself for a lot of reasons. Him and I have talked a lot about it. A lot. He understands that he is not allowed to talk to me for at least a half an hour after I get up. Your partner needs to understand. And you need to communicate better. They will understand if you explain it right. I just wonder how that first interaction actually went. As in, I had a terrible day at work. I'm going to take a shower and try to clear my head, or, don't talk to me. I can't talk to anyone right now. I need some space. Because the actual wording and tone are relevant to whether the wife overreacted or not. So they dated for some amount of time. Then went through an engagement and a few years of marriage and he never needed his own space in. 
All of those years? That's not how that works. This is something that would have been well established from the start. I wonder if they're on different pages about what the word, break, means. Like he wants an hour by himself. But she might have interpreted it as a break from their relationship. Cause I've heard people say that they're putting their relationship on a break when things are rocky to feel things out. How on earth did these people end up married? I consider myself a sincere introvert. But my guy was the one person I could be around constantly. Even if we weren't interacting. My person is my refuge. I agree with other comments. There's other issues at play here. Uh as a total extrovert. This isn't an introvert, extrovert issue. This is an insecurity issue. Alone time is important for most people. If you can't be alone for a few hours or even understand the desire to be alone for a few hours. You've got some self-reflection to do. They're not communicating well and should probably get some therapy. Op is not wrong for expressing his need for some space but it doesn't seem like there was. Clarification as to how he'll let her know he needs space. How he'll let her know he's done needing space. Should she not greet him when he comes home to let him decompress? Should she greet him with a quick hello but let him do his own thing after that for a bit? Does he need space every night after work or just some nights? She seems too upset to discuss that though which is a problem and jumping to conclusions that he must be cheating is quite the leap and is not helping anything. My hubby needs his alone time and I get it. I'm a hyper crazy person at times and understand why he wants to sit alone to recharge. Needing space often means a break in a relationship. So I'm wondering if that's how OP's wife took it instead of him just needing me time. Which would have honestly been a better way to put it than the need for space. I would have also taken it as my spouse wanting to be away from me instead of them just wanting time to themselves. If that makes sense. A lot of this sounds like a lack of clear communication. And the moment he said he would cheat would be the end of the relationship for me. Because then you could never trust them again. Something is absolutely going on in this relationship that is not being addressed. She sounds like she needs some time outside the house. He gets enough time outside the house and just needs a little bit of peace and quiet here and there. With any of us who are like that totally get. She also sounds like she has some insecurities that she needs to figure out because he can't be her. Emotional support animal. And I understand his frustration. But damn. That reply grimace. I think they lasted as long as they did because Oop didn't rock the boat. He asked a simple request on needing a little bit of space and she immediately not only sank the boat but burned it. He should stay quiet and hope she moves on. My partner and I go our separate ways when we finish work and are at home. He goes into the music studio and I occupy myself on Reddit. Or paint. Or watch TV. Or water the garden. Etc. We come back together for dinner. Hang out for a while and then pending on the night do our own TBF before snuggling up together. To watch a movie before bed. This guy's wife needs a friend or something and not take everything so personally. The husband's gonna have a nervous breakdown if they can't center themselves after a day at work. This reeks of unreliable narrator and missing missing reasons emo. What did he actually say to her initially? I need some time alone could mean a lot of things. Including a relationship break. Which is what it sounded like to his wife. When he apparently laid it all out there, he again says he needs some space which again sounds like a relationship break. And when his wife actually does give him space, he interprets that as cold and icy instead of exactly what he asked for. If you want space, stop asking for movie nights and then getting annoyed when you're turned down. To top it off, 
He tells her he probably will cheat on her. Which isn't something anyone says in the heat of the moment unless they were already thinking of it. Op sounds. At best. Oblivious and unable to actually communicate. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.